One more gate we want to study today is the swap gate. So what is this? It's very easy. Definition. Basically, it means you swap the number in the basis. Let me, should, I should do this. AB becomes BA. Okay. Again, this is just a label, right? So do not think this is a map. It just tells you that which basis go to which basis, which basis vector go to which one after this gate. So can you tell me, again, we have four different bases, right? Because it's C4 system. I mean, C4, yeah. It becomes what? Zero, zero becomes what? Zero, zero. We, do, we did the swapping, but it is still zero. Zero, one becomes one, zero. One, zero becomes zero, one. One, one becomes one, one. You basically have no change. Can you guess what does the small, the, the matrix look like? The swap gate. What does it look like, the matrix? Yeah, look at the not gate. Yeah. Say again. The middle two row swap. Very good. Just like identity, the first, the second row is the same, but here it becomes zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Right? By doing this, you will be able to only swap them, right? And this is the symbol. Now, so there are two symbols. Sometimes we use this symbol. But actually very often, we also use this symbol. We have two symbols. Okay? So you come in as alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Your output becomes alpha, gamma, beta, delta. Now, why is that, right? Let me, let, let's just uh, be careful, right? We can think in this way. Alpha, zero, zero, plus beta, zero, one, plus gamma, one, zero, plus delta, one, one. So what do we say? We say we're going to swap it, right? So this becomes zero, zero. This becomes one, zero. This becomes zero one. This becomes one one, right? And I rearrange it because I need the base to the, the right place. Gamma zero one plus beta one zero plus delta one one, right? So my definition of swapping the bases is equivalent to swapping the coefficient. Take a look. Any questions?